So today we're reviewing Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. So welcome to the second movie in this Movie Mania double feature movie review. And in this movie, we literally walked straight from the Pope's Exorcist right over to Dungeons and Dragons. I mean, and jump right the, in. The Pope's Exorcist ended at 10 15. We walked over to this movie at 10 15. Yeah, we really could not schedule it better. 10 16. And I just wanted to put this in the movie review real quick before anyone accuses us of not buying the tickets. We literally went from Pope's Exorcist to Dungeons and Dragons. We bought both at the same time. Here are the two tickets. And now back to the video. And we, we walked in, same trailer as planned, yeah. and we sat down and watched it. Now, Jake, what were your thoughts on Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves? I think uh, I heard a lot of, uh, at first with this movie, I was not bought in with, with the marketing. And there's a lot of things in the marketing that is the just director. Like, I'm like, yeah, you know what, I might be passing on this one. I almost was going to pass on this, but you were the one, once the reviews came out, some people that we trust were giving some good thoughts. And now that, that's not the only reason we went to check it out. Because, um, again, there was some... Chris Pine's a great actor, and yeah. the 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 main lead, the I'm not sure what her name is exactly, but the girl that's, that's in uh, Shaw Robert, you guys, like we know her from from other movies, and also the girl from It, uh, Beverly from, oh, yeah, from yeah. It, Chapter One and Two, yeah. like there was a lot. The cast was a pretty good cast, so um, and we like entertaining movies, so there was there was definitely Action. an element to want to go see it. So once we heard some positive things about it from people that we trust, we're like, hey, let's go check it out. Um, but I think walking out of the theater. I thought it was a pretty good time. Um, I was I wasn't bored. I was not bored with the movie. Uh, it might have been a little too long. It was an, it was an okay movie, and I walked out of the theater having a decent time with it. Yeah, I've got to say this movie is interesting because I I was looking forward to it for a multiple two of reasons, <laughs> a multiple reasons, multiple two. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. you right now. That pees me off. I thought that was a good start to the video. So today we're reviewing, once again, Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. Yeah, so like I was trying to say before, before the camera turned off, I this movie's interesting because from the trailers, I was interested in the action, the army, and the monsters. Those are things I like in movies. You get kind of all of that in the trailer. The cast was a good cast also to draw me in. Uh, and... Walking out, there's a lot of really cool, unique scenes in these movies, in this movie. And there's cool set pieces, and there's a lot of positives I'm thinking of. But then again, there's just stuff that makes me think, like, there's a lot of this movie that just was okay, in average. And there wasn't scenes that blew me away. There's a lot of cool things. Okay? And like you said, nothing that's going to make me remember this movie, yeah. really, at all. I mean, there's some funny scenes, but... Why don't we go into our positives with the movie? Well, I think positives are just the imaginative the imagination of the movie. Just with the, there's a lot of really cool characters, uh, really cool scene, just like set designs. And I said in the last review, but like, like yeah. just good backgrounds. Like they the, there's a lot of different areas. I like the journey element, the storyline, the cinematography. Uh, obviously, it's a world that we aren't very familiar with. The whole Dungeons and Dragons lore. Absolutely no idea what it's about. Not sure if you would have any idea no, what it's about. No clue. So all the stuff about it. This is kind of for people that don't know anything about the, the world. And I would say it was, it was interesting enough. There was a lot of cool characters. There's like mixes of humans and like elves and uh, a lot of things that we've liked in other movies, like Lord of the Rings and things. So yeah, yeah. some weird creatures. And I like the storyline of just what I like the storyline and also how it brought this team together. And I, I bought into it. And it was a fun, fun journey and storyline, and you know it, it wasn't that confusing because by the end it's like there was it was a, obviously a crazy world, but a pretty uh, round based storyline and goal of the cast and what they're trying to do. Um, and I'd also have to say another positive was some of the com most, I'd say some of the comedy worked. There was a lot of funny, funny scenes. I'd seen the different abilities of different characters. The villain character was pretty funny. Definitely a villain character that fits yeah. in our, our favorites of... Uh, great the, villain. Yeah, a great villain just based on what, what they do with him. The best word I can say is just a fun, okay time. And I think that's because of the cast. They all seem to have having a fun time with it. And really good scene scenery. And the special effects are pretty good for the most part as well. So I have to say across the board, lots to like about the movie. Yeah, main positives would be 
the unique abilities and weapons and kind of just items that are used led to some really cool scenes that I thoroughly enjoyed. One, using a portal. There's, yeah. a, there's a portal ability that I thought was really cool and funny. It was, it was like an awesome scene to watch. And then uh, it was also led to some really funny scenes. The comedy, there's a lot of comedy in this movie, but I do think a lot of it works. There's a few action scenes that I thought were good. Uh, one towards the beginning and then one towards the end that I thought was actually really cool to see a lot, all these characters working together and the whole build up to this group. I thought it was overall pretty cool. And the abilities are pretty good for most of these characters. Even uh, I thought there were, yeah, the this design of this world is awesome and the different shots of them traveling around I thought was really cool as well. And the villain was really good. And led to some really funny scenes. There's multiple villains, and actually both of them were really cool. But why don't we go into our negatives? That's true. There was multiple villains. Yeah. But negatives-wise, I have to say it was a little too long for me. Now, like I said, we just saw a movie that was 2 hours and 49 minutes in John Wick Chapter 4. And when it's a movie that we're invested in, and in a very great movie, the more, the runtime couldn't be long enough. But this one, I didn't, like I said before, I, really, I was not bored with this movie. But I thought it was a little too long. And you could have shaved certain parts off to make this movie not as long. I think, like you said, the underutilization of certain characters that were in the lead of the cast uh, maybe was a negative as well. Because certain characters had abilities. And some one character in particular, her name's uh, Sophia Lillis, the girl who played Beverly in uh, It movies. Her, her abilities were super, super cool oh, in this yeah. movie. I loved, I loved her character. And I also liked the... The guy who, I should know his name, he's in Justice Smith, who was in the Jurassic World uh, movies. He, he, I liked his character as well. Yeah. He's supposed to be a, a sorcerer and kind of the kind of the match to one of the Magic villains user. in this movie, as you get to see towards the end, a good, a good kind of storyline and an arc. Story arc for him, the comedy, not all the comedy hit, and those are probably my negatives overall. Yeah, my main negatives probably include, honestly, some of the advertising, because... I, I I would say I don't want to spoil it, but at the end of the day, if there's false advertising, that's where the spoilers end. Because there's certain scenes involving battles that they montage over, and in my like I from the advertisements, I was really thinking like battle scenes, and you you get battles, but you don't get big, giant like epic battle scenes like it advertised, and I think that was a big negative and miss on uh, miss advertising for sure. There wasn't. There was good action scenes, but there wasn't any that blew me away. I mean, we're coming off of John Wick where there was just excellent action scenes. There was good action scenes, but nothing crazy and not I think would be that memorable. Yeah. Uh, even though there were some good scenes. Definitely the main character, I mean, Chris Pine is pretty much a, he's pretty much an idiot in this movie. I mean, he does some, he has a, he has somewhat of an arc, but he really does nothing except be an idiot in this movie. Yeah, he's, he's, like, and, he's like the planner. And... And then at the end, there's a story decision that they brush over, and is it? No, oh, yeah. So there's a, yeah. there's a without spoiling it, there's a really, really tough decision. I thought it was crazy, like good how they got the story to this point to make this tough decision, but then the certain characters make a decision, and just brush over it like it's the easiest decision ever. I mean, not the easiest, but they brush over it like it's such an easy decision. Yeah. You can just do it in ten seconds. That was definitely negative. And I'm, we were both sitting there like. There's no way you can make the decision that quickly. But yeah, we'll have to get over that in spoilers. Yeah, certain character. And that was a big negative yeah. for me. I mean, that that took it down probably at least yeah. a point just for that part of the movie. You can't but, do that and then just end it all all happy like everyone's yeah. hugging and stuff. Like you really just that was a, that was a terrible. Like, that was. I, I'm not Disgusting. sure. How, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not sure how you write that differently Embarrassing. to where like. Maybe you come. Up, there's a way to find a second one of these things. Well, it's worth an issue. But the way that, that it was executed here was absolutely embarrassing. They embarrassed us in front of Kate Mulligan. The way they do business, that was embarrassing when you ran in here. The and uh, but yeah, and we, so we say, can't talk about the spoilers. But overall, because of that decision at the end, I have to give Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. I'm, I'm going to give Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves a six out of ten. Just it's because I mean, I was going to be. I was sitting at a six point five, but that dis that, dis that disgusting decision really <laughs> just it has to take it down to a six because you can't. You can't have that happen the way it did. But hey, it was above average. A lot of like, there's still some fun things about it. Had a good, okay time with the movie. I'm going to give Dungeons and Dragons, Iron Monk Thieves, a 6 out of 10. Yeah, I 
<laughs> we're going to have the same score for these reviews, but I agree. I think I'll give it a 6 out of 10 as well because there's good things in it. There's funny scenes. The villain is good in our way that we just think he's funny. And the comedy works for a lot of the time. But there's just the miss, the bad advertising totally yeah. mis misled me, at least, with the battle scenes. Uh, and I just think overall this movie is going to be forgettable. There's a lot of the, I like the cool abilities. And then the decision at the end really took it down a lot. Uh, and so I think I'll give it a 6 out of 10 because I think it's safe to say that I thought The Pope's Exorcist was a better movie. It was I'd say it was easily a point better. And this movie, at the end of the day, is going to be very forgettable. So that's why it has a 6 out of 10. Thanks for watching our non-spoiler review of Dungeons & Dragons, Honor Among Thieves. Let us know in the comments what you thought about this movie. We both gave it a 6 out of 10. Uh, it was an okay movie. Didn't blow us away, but in my opinion, it was above average. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.